Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing yet another response video to Ginger Hippie Gaming. Um, what can I say? Dude keeps coming up with some great ideas. So, the one I'm going to be doing a response to is the top five things in my collection that are most nostalgic to me. And a little bit of the story of why they are so. So, I'm going to go ahead and get to it. Why wait? First thing I picked for my collection with being most nostalgic to me is on the PlayStation 2, Crash of the Titans. This is nostalgic to me because this is the first game me and my daughter ever beat together. This game is what made my daughter my permanent number two, my player number two. I mean, I've had a lot of friends play with me throughout the years playing different games and having that second controller, but... I think I had the most enjoyment playing this game with my daughter when she's three, four years old beating this game with me. So, just a lot of fond memories of this game with me and Quinn. So that was my first item. Everything else though, it is going back to my childhood. First thing I'm gonna pick, this guy right here. My pet monster. I'm choosing my pet monster. This is the first toy I ever bought with my own money and I saved up a lot, at least for me at the time, to buy this. And my grandparents helped me out a lot with saving that money and then matching the money I saved so I could buy this. I used to love this cartoon when I was a kid. I absolutely fell in love with this guy. And I still to this day have him. I no longer have the handcuffs, but whatever he's still in really good shape and my pet monster is my my pick I've had him forever <laughs> next thing I'm picking and this is a small selection to show I didn't grab all of them is my masters of the universe cartoon collection I only picked these two VHS tapes I also have the complete set on DVD and I have a recorded tape from when my grandma recorded some from TV on the VCR for me. But I just figured for the nostalgic feel I might as well grab some uh, VHS tapes for it. So that'd be my next pick is my Masters of the Universe cartoon collection. I chose this because growing up He-Man was the stuff. I loved Masters of the Universe. When I come home from school I'd watch it if I had basketball or soccer practice or martial arts or Cub Scouts. My grandma would record it for me so I could watch it when I got home. I used to, you know, I'd have to watch He-Man before I did my homework. I, I absolutely loved Masters of the Universe growing up. So, my Masters of the Universe cartoon collection. Sticking with the theme of just representation using VHS, even though I got plenty of DVDs are my WWF Collector's Edition. These things for the Columbia House, we ordered them. So, growing up, I loved wrestling. I loved Hulk Hogan. I loved the WWF. And uh, I got these VHS tapes once a month through like a subscription thing my grandparents got for me. I also had the WWF magazine that came once a month, and I used to just look forward to when these came so I could pop them in on a Saturday and watch wrestling and right after Saturday morning cartoons, which leads me to the final item that I picked for my top five. After those Saturday morning cartoons and watching some He-Man, after watching my wrestling, after stuffing my face with some good food, The rest of the day, if I wasn't outside playing, was spent on my Nintendo. And what game did I log the most time into? Dragon Warrior. Now this game here wasn't just from when I was a kid when it came out. I've beaten this game countless times. I've grinded away over and over and played it so many times. I used to play it in high school. I'd have buddies come over and start their own campaigns on it, and I'd talk them through to tell them where things were. And Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warrior would probably be 
my number one item with my Nintendo. Those are my top five for most nostalgic things in my collection. I could put in honorable mentions of uh, my White Wolf tabletop RPGs. Um, I got my WWF figurines behind me up there. I have a lot of Lakers like memorabilia, a lot of good stories that go along with going to basketball games with my grandfather. There's my trading card collection. There's a lot of stuff I could put there, but right now, at this point in my life, these would be my top five. If you guys would like to take a response video to this, go ahead. Let me know in the comment section, and uh, I'll go check you out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe.